flying around the globe entering countries for my first time, not knowing what to expect. After traveling on planes, trains, and buses for the last few months, it's nearly four in the morning returning from Budapest, Hungary, arriving in the land that I'm familiar with most, Jordan. I've traveled to Jordan, my motherland, ever since I was a little child. To say that I am familiar with the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan would be an understatement. We are now entering a celebration where two priests and a man are being ordained at a local Catholic church. Meet my friend Fadi and Abdullah. These guys are like my brothers. I've known them for the last five years. And some of my favorite moments is wasting time, cracking jokes, and not taking life too seriously. The thing in my opinion that sets Jordan apart from its surrounding countries is the peace that you feel. Jordanians tend to coexist with one another peacefully and harmoniously. We're here in Fahis, Jordan, and we are just about to head to Sri Lanka in a couple of days. Pop through Jordan as a pit stop, and it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made because it's allowed me to just stay here at my aunt and uncle's house and visit family and cousins and go to parties every day. Anyways, in a couple of days, I'm heading to Sri Lanka, guys, and my friend Michael's meeting me there, and I'm super uber excited. So one thing I'm super thankful for is my Aunt Haifa. With her uh, new look. With her new look. So my Aunt Haifa has hosted me now for about a week and a half. And my uncle and my aunt have been so loving and so amazing. And I'm so thankful that Jordan has become a big stop for me. Um, auntie, we love you. I love you so much. Love you too. You're the best. I'm off to Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like uh, to see you always uh, and uh, to, to, to make me a video and a better uh, and, uh, shape. Shape. <laughs> yes, you. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> Traditional Jordanian breakfast over here. Ah, ah, ah. ah, ah, ah. See, I come from a background with a large family. A family of Hatar and Abujude. Many cousins, many aunts, many uncles, and an endless supply of amazing Jordanian food. In fact, even if you don't have an appetite, your mom, your aunts, and your grandma will always find a way to shove that delicious Jordanian food down your throat before you know how to say, I'm full. When I was a young kid, I would always get excited when Jordanian vacations would arise in the summer. Our 20 cousins from all sorts of different areas in the world, Canada, Italy, and the US, would gather together and celebrate for two months. Whether there would be a wedding, a party, an engagement, a graduation, which is also called a tojihi, we would celebrate with one another and have nothing but fun, happiness, and joy. My grandparents came from a town called Fahais, and this is the town that you're looking at right now. Fahais is a Christian community that coexists with their Muslim brothers and sisters. My favorite parts about this town are the beautiful churches in our community. It has been a huge blessing growing up here as a kid every other summer to experience all the different rich cultures. This town is infested with Christian history. In fact, Jesus walked in a town called Safut, just a neighborhood away. It has been a huge blessing to have experienced our Christian community here in Fahes, and it obviously shows in the images that you see. So right now we are on our way to the Dead Sea to stay at the Marriott Resort here in Jordan. As you can see, right to the right of me is the Dead Sea, which is shared in between Jordan and Israel. I've been here since I was a kid, 
and uh, pretty excited to go back this year. Right now I'm here with my Kareem driver. Ahla wa sahla, jamia. Shukran, shukran lelak. It's kind of illegal here to do uh, Kareem driving, but uh, it is still active. It's a lot cheaper than doing Uber. When you go into the Dead Sea, the salt alone will fix any movement movements that you have. It hurts a little bit in the beginning, but uh, it is definitely worth it. And we'll uh, show you guys exactly what the Dead Sea has to offer. Recliners, and you got the Dead Sea right over here. You got your umbrellas, which they never used to have. Obviously, yeah, it's really hot, but you got to take your time in the heat. Yeah, one step at a time. Don't don't uh, overdo it. Nice booties over here, so you're not burnt. Dead Sea, enjoy the sunset, and you will not regret it. So right now I am over there from the Antimity Pool here at the Dead Sea, and behind me is a perfect view of the Dead Sea waters. Check it out. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Albert Einstein once observed that uh, you have the most fundamental and major decision that you have to make in your life is this. Do I live in a friendly or a hostile universe? Which is it? Is it a universe that is filled with hostility and anger and people wanting to hate each other and people wanting to kill each other? Is that what you see? Because when you see the world that way, that's exactly what you will create for yourself in your life. Following are a few inspirational words by my three-year-old baby niece who decided to not leave me alone while I was recording this audio. I'm Annabella. I am three years old. I'm half Jordanian, half Palestinian. I have one brother, one sister. I wish for peace in Palestine. Jordan has been an awesome country allowing so many refugees from its surrounding countries, all the way from Syria, Iraq, and so many others. In fact, Jordan has one of the largest refugee camps in the Middle East. This is a cafe called Rimini, located in Amman. It's owned by my cousin's father, 
It has been one of our favorite places as cousins to gather around and eat some of our favorite salads and pizzas in Amman. It is my final day here in Fahais before I move on to Sri Lanka and I am here with Marshmallow! Marshmallow! I come from a family that has a long history and to be honest I'm really grateful for my grandma Widad. She's taught her children and her children's children to do nothing but have unconditional love for one another. What I've learned in the 30 plus years that I've lived is life is too short not to forgive your enemy. Take this moment right now and think of all the people that you have resentments for and say, I choose to forgive. I choose to create peace. See what that does for you. You're gonna feel nothing but freedom. You see, God has placed us on this earth to love one another, to support one another, to lift one another up. And this is your chance right now to do that. Set yourself free, be merciful, and God will take care of the rest. I'm so thankful you guys watched this video. Have a blessed day. Robbie Moore, NBC TV News, KKL 95. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 وين الرهوي؟ كيف حالك؟ حطه على الفيسبوك كيف حالك؟ اهلا وسهلا